Hi everybody, this is Tinsley Traction and I'm just doing a quick, a very quick video for Phil, uh, Phil Frost, who's just going to embark on making his first big engaged layout and he wants to know, which he probably will already know by now, um, but how to lay grass. Uh, the way I use it, sorry, the way I lay it is um, I use PVA glue. This is just cheap school PVA glue at the moment, which I'm using because I've run out of the other stuff. And uh, what I use warm water. Uh, it seems to break the surface tension down a little bit better. And then I use washing up liquid, a tiny, tiny little squirt, about the size of a pea, to this container, mix it in, mix it all around and remember this is very very quick because uh, I've just popped home from looking after um, my son who's not well. Anyway, um, this is going to be a lot thinner than usual but basically the, uh, the other way I do it Phil is I just get the glue and, excuse me, I just, if I'm doing say rough grass near um, say there's going to be bushes and things um, well basically what I do is I just get a brush and some glue if you've got plenty of glue and judging by your video I've just watched mate you've got loads of glue probably going to have too much uh, see there's the track next to it there just brush brush your glue nice and smooth like that and then get your grass um, you can see this. This is just uh, this is just a mixture of different colours, and it's got some rough bits in it as well. I don't know if you can see because I'm trying to look through the viewfinder because the camera's on an angle. So little bush rough bit. And basically, all I do, you can do it a number of ways. I, I either use a shaker or I just do it with my fingers. So I'm pretty, I've been doing it for years, and I'm pretty pretty decent at it now. And just spray it straight onto the glue onto the wet glue until you cover all the white PVA glue what you can see so that's just a straight on if you want thicker grass uh, or you can use a shaker which is a Woodland Scenics um, and again you can just basically spray it place it on like that the glue, you know, face it on, and then just basically um, shake it. Just you know, what you do is you just turn that upside down and shake it. I'm not doing that because I'll, I'll show you this in a minute when I've um, when I've mixed the glue. So uh, anyhow, <coughs> so there's your mixed glue. Now again, just I just brush it on first this is loads of people are going to have different ways of doing it I just brush it on so it's nice and thin it's half and half use a bit more glue than you know than water sometimes but you can just you just gauge your own um, gauge your own whatever you want to do now if you've got woodland scene it's static grass flock uh, as all of you will probably know you can get an electric electric uh, like a you, you, what you do is you stick a nail or a screw into the baseboard connected to a wire, connected to the uh, static grass applicator and you just shake it like a sieve and the electric charge makes the grass stick up so, but with N-Gage I don't really need that because it's uh, the grass ends up, end, ends up quite tall so then I've just sprayed this, uh, I've just basically just put the glue on with the water, the PVA mix with the washing up liquid uh, I just tap that upside down until all the boards where I need is covered. Usually I paint the, uh, the board brown underneath or like a darker green depending on what you want to do because then if you do get any bits which are missed it doesn't really matter uh, because you've got either a brown showing through or whatever colour earth you know or grass underneath so it doesn't matter. You see there you've got like bits showing through. Uh, anyhow that's that's the static grass so you can use the applicator to make the grass rise up or I just leave it like this for engage because you are actually getting the lumpy you know the lumpy grass um, 
Now, when you're doing your ballast, also, um, I haven't got any ballast with me at the moment, it's upstairs, so what I do is, I uh, don't know if I might have to move the camera. Well, anyhow, I get a spray, just a bottle of warm water, spray it on, so it's wet, right? And then I get, um, an app uh, again, a spray, a spray applicator with the PVA in, why the board is wet with just the water, I spray the grass on and then I get the spray with the PVA glue and water mixed and once the grass is on, remember to put the washing up liquid in Phil, just spray, spray it all over the grass and it gives it a nice even finish. Uh, again with ballast, you know basically what I do is if I'm just doing it in a rut in a, like a siding, um, the tracks in the middle there, say that there's a track in the middle. I just go around one end like that, put the ballast on the little the side of it, if it's a side in the sun and then in the uh, in the middle just to make it look rough, uh, give it like a rough siding effect. And then again I um, you know I, I put some of the um, static grass or even this uh, just a normal the normal um, sawdust flop, whatever it is, uh, over the actual rails and everything with the ballast, and then it gives it like um, a rough, unused appearance. Now, judging by your video, you know how to do the normal ballast. So you get your piece of track, put your piece of track, screw it down, right? Get your ballast, spray your ballast all over with no water and nothing at first. Get your, your brush or your fingers or whatever you want to use and push it in. Push it into the track and then you get your spray. So you can imagine that's your spray. You spray all over the, the ballast so it's nice and wet. Then you get your PVA glue. And then I use a syringe like a lot of people do. So then you've got... Um, you've got your PVA glue, I mean I'm not probably missing a lot of this because the camera's on a funny angle so you get your PVA glue, there's your track and your ballast is laid, it's wet with the washing up liquid um, applied into the PVA glue and then just drop it on uh, doesn't matter, you can be quite, you know, you can be quite heavy with it because it just, with the washing up liquid in, it, it releases the tension and it just sinks straight into the ballast um, and that's that's the easiest way I, I do it. I never have any problems, as you've seen on my layout. Uh, my ballast is fairly neat. So, but the grass is absolutely simple. Basically, all I do, mate, is dip it in the glue, push it around, say like that, push it anywhere around the road sides and anything. Just get get the grass on a base. Just spray. Just do this. Spray it on. You can use a sieve. Anything you want. Just keep going over. And then you can, there's the, the dark green. What I tend to do is, um, where are we? I tend to mix the colours. So I've got a lighter green. Just go over it, the parts, with a lighter green. So you've got two different greens there. Plus, you've also got the flock, which is that. You've also got the flock, and you've got two different colours of grass. As you can see. And give it... I just give it 12 hours and then it's all dry and that's it. Now this is just a rough quick version, like I said, I'll try and do a neater version, but uh, I haven't got no time. And basically that's all I do, but make sure you put the washing, a dab of washing up liquid in with your PVA glue in your water and you'll have no problems. Oh, that's been a bit of help for you, Phil. Uh, I know it's a quick video, it's, you've probably missed half of it because I've been, <laughs> I've been trying to look at the viewfinder at the same time, but um, anyhow, any problems... There's loads of videos on YouTube. Uh, Dave Howarth, he does some really good ones on laying ballast and grass and God knows what, making trees and whatever you know, I think. So there's loads of people out there who can help you. But um, I'll be doing some more on my layout in the next few days uh, when everything's sorted with my family and that. Um, I shall be doing, because it's in its new position, I shall be doing um, more grass laying and water. I shall also be uh, putting the water in the canal. Okay, Phil. Anyhow, good luck, mate. Look forward to seeing your uh, Hatton's delivery tomorrow. Cheers, mate.